we want to consider aging a disease, so the NIH will in fact fund it and put money and energy into the research of curing aging as a disease because it is the reason that we have all of the symptoms that we die of. All of these things that we've batted at as symptoms, uh, Alzheimer's, cancer, heart disease, etc., are symptoms of cellular aging and cannot be cured on their own. Uh, and what's fantastic about this science and what I think that everyone's here to listen to is that if we cannot reverse your visual signs of aging, then we have not been successful. Um, Aging is the most visual disease on the planet. It, it, it follows a pathology entirely. Some people age faster, some people age slower. We'll look at that. Progeric children age very fast. Um, so yes, in fact, with our science, you will look younger again. I'd like to just give us an introduction to you, who you are and what motivates you to be interested in uh, gene therapy and starting up a company like BioViva. Yeah, so hi, my name is Liz Parrish, and I'm the CEO of BioViva, and I'm an entrepreneur and a humanitarian. I'm not a scientist, essentially. I think I'm a scientist at heart, but I'm not a PhD or a medical doctor, so we should get that out of the way. Uh, I created this company to find medical cures for biological aging. Uh, I formed a company called BioViva. It officially formed January this year, and we raised some money, and then we got some private donations outside of the U.S. to go ahead and and run a test of what we think is the uh, fastest uh, way to biological age reversal. Uh, I partook in that test uh, with medical doctors in a medical clinic. I ask you, why put your body on the line like this? Well, actually, uh, we believe strongly as a company that companies should take their own medicine. I believe it was the only ethical thing to do. Uh, the telomerase gene therapy is the most promising gene therapy that sat in research for over 20 years. Uh, it appears to reverse um, a myriad of aging biomarkers and would have the most benefit to humans uh, right now. Uh, there was no human body that had had the therapy in it, and essentially we felt that it was worth uh, taking the therapy, getting it into the first human body so that we could experience the first human results and therefore moving the therapy closer to a cure um, than it would be otherwise. So talk us through some of your most recent results. Right, so in my most recent uh, blood marker results, we saw a reduction in triglycerides, which is indicative of the myostatin inhibitor that I took. We saw a decrease in C-reactive proteins, and this is a biomarker essentially of inflammation. This increases as you get older, and mine decreased. This would be indicative of the telomerase-inducing uh, gene therapy. We saw an increase in the telomeres. Uh, the telomeres are the re re redundant caps at the ends of your chromosomes that shorten as you get older, and we saw an increase. And um, outside of that, in my MRI images, we saw an increase of muscle mass. And so if you look at what the therapy is doing in the most basic form, you know, this is potentially a way to treat things like diabetes type 2 and uh, biological aging in general. Uh, so these are good indications that these therapies are working at a base level. But now what we need to do is to get into human studies and actually prove that they will work over a general population and start treating people who need, are in the highest need now. Now we have the opportunity to design our evolution and upgrade our body. Um, I'm a human prototype for the future of health. Obviously, we're not quite there yet, but um, we hope that other pioneering sorts will come up and we'll eventually have the perfect prototype for health. Now, we're not talking about living forever. We're talking about mitigating the diseases of aging, uh, the complex diseases of childhood, uh, like diabetes type 1, like Alzheimer's, like cancer cancer, like um, dementia. We have all decided as a population to put millions and millions of dollars into each one of these independently to uh, eradicate the disease. The reason we haven't been able to do that is because we never went after biological aging. Uh, Liz, um, are you younger today, today than you were a few years ago? 
Well, you know, that's something that we're looking at. So in um, a couple years ago, in 2015, I took two experimental gene therapies to see if they were safe, if we could forge ahead and use these therapies to treat aging and childhood disease. Uh, in some of my cells, we see lengthened telomeres. Um, I see reactive protein is lower, which is a good indication. Telomeres are caps oh, yes. on the end of the chromosome. Yeah, with... that, so you slowed, basically you slowed down the degeneration of cells. Yeah, well, the idea is actually to reverse the degeneration reverse, of cells. Yes. So when a lot of people say that they don't want to get live longer, they just don't want to be old longer. Mm -hmm. But we don't want to make people who are old longer. We actually want to reverse their aging and make them youthful. So uh, the gene... So they're youthful longer. Yes, yes. so they're youthful longer. Mm -hmm. So the gene therapy that lengthens telomeres reversed aging in animals, and it actually reverses aging in human cells. And your in your opinion, aging is not a natural process. You view aging as a disease. Yeah, absolutely. So naturally, humans die around the age of 35 of infectious disease. This is how humans die. Antibiotics and immunizations change that. They almost tripled our lifespans, our health spans in a sense. Mm -hmm. But now we live old longer. Mm -hmm. This is just the next natural step. Aging is a pathology. It is what is driving cancer, heart disease, and Alzheimer's. It's why we have thrown billions of dollars at those diseases and we cannot cure them because we're not curing what is driving the disease and which now is aging. which is aging it's cellular degeneration which is a myriad there's about nine hallmarks to what's happening at the cellular because level. that's how you technically define aging as cellular degeneration right yeah absolutely yeah, okay. how old do you think you're going to be Liz? how old are you going to get biologically Just final words how old are you going to get if in my lifetime we make the perfect combination biologically we will have a cell that behaves very differently than a human cell because our cells are accumulating damage from a very young age mm. the ideal cell is a very very young cell so i will tell you i would like to get very chronologically old but i would like my cells to be very biologically young and i believe that we can achieve that there are people who simply accept the risks and use themselves as living laboratories of life extension and experiment with their own cells and genes. Liz Parrish is the founder and CEO of BioViva, a biotech company offering anti-aging therapies. She herself was the first patient and underwent a gene therapy which involved having her telomeres the edges of her chromosomes lengthened. According to BioViva's own researchers, her biological age dropped considerably from her 47 years. Uh, and then there's lots of people who are going through genetic therapies right now for monogenic disease. So that means if they have a single gene that has a problem, we can replace that and actually cure the disease, which is fantastic. Uh, but I am the first person to be genetically modified to actually treat biological aging and doing that on purpose. So that's where I'm number one. If you don't look young, you're not young and therefore you are more likely to die. The biggest risk factor for mortality is your age. So we have to pioneer new technology and to me it's more scary not taking uh, a risk on new therapies and knowing the way I'm going to die. So I'm not interested in dying the way that people did in the past. Well, for me, it's kind of all or nothing. Either we start solving the problems of the future and the now, or we um, are not participating in making a better world. So I would rather be dead than die of the diseases of aging. Um, you know, Right now, death is inevitable and disease is inevitable and we're trying to change that. And so being part of that felt really important. Hi guys, it's Liz Parrish from BioViva and today I'm here to share a very special video with you. Uh, this video was taken in 2015. I just recently bought the rights to the video so that we could share it with you. Um, what is happening in this video? Dun, dun. Uh, it's, it's when I took my gene therapy, uh, gene therapies, both a telomerase inducer and a myostatin inhibitor. And you know, you can really sense in the video, uh, of course, we, we hope to change the lives of six billion people uh, that day. 
Now, of course, we're still working on the process and we're going to get these therapies right. And my heart goes out to everyone who's uh, participating and spearheading this new technology. But today, I just want you to sit back and enjoy the video and get excited about your genetic future. Thanks. Today I'm getting a combination therapy. Uh, we believe that this combination will be a very strong proponent for uh, working on cellular aging from two different areas. Uh, one of the therapies is a telomerase inducing gene therapy. This is the only gene therapy on the planet that's ever reversed aging in animal model and every human cell tissue that it's been used on. So we're really excited about this. Uh, the second gene therapy is a myostatin inhibitor, so it increases muscle mass, but it also appears to do things uh, that we're tracking. It may be good at reversing atherosclerotic plaques, um, so we want to find out if that's true. And it also tends to open up uh, maybe uh, stem cell niches in the body and um, increase regenerative potential. So as far as the telomerase inducing gene therapy, uh, I will be the first person to ever receive this form of the therapy. I mean, I'm supposed to go in the corner and grab my face and <gasps> shake around and turn around and be young, right? <laughs> it's not going to happen like that. And of course we want people to be happy and if you don't look younger, then you are not biologically younger. So we know that this is one of the effects that we will look for in um, uh, age reversal. Uh, with gene therapy. Um, so looking old is um, being sick. This year, my company won a position in the top 10 most innovative gene therapy companies in the world because we're answering those two questions. <laughs> and how are we doing that? We're doing that with partnerships and innovation. And what we're going to do is show the world that we can innovate care more quickly. So how are we going to do that? Number one, step one is patient access. We have a uh, a partnership with a company called Integrative Health Systems, and they are offering regenerative gene therapies today. Today, Integrative Health Systems uh, is most notably known for offering uh, telomerase uh, activation, lengthening the ends of your telomeres, also folistatin for regenerate, regenerating muscle mass, uh, clotho for kidney disease, and whole body rejuvenation, which is what most people actually come in for. Uh, we want to say thank you to uh, Maximum Life Foundation, who has sponsored a trial of 10 patients for um, Alzheimer's. So uh, mid to mild Alzheimer's, these patients get a fully paid for uh, treatment, which is really fantastic. So essentially, we're allowing people to get access to technologies now that our doctors agree um, are safe enough to go into humans. And then we are taking our knowledge base from the information that we get from those studies to create better drugs. When you treat biological aging, you're treating the biggest unmet need on the planet. 